Welcome to this 10 minute workout. If you want to help improve your bone strength, help improve your muscle strength, if you have osteoporosis and or osteoarthritis, this is the video for you. Now remember, osteoporosis leads to some bone weakening, which can be common in the hip, in the spine, in the wrists, etc. Osteoarthritis is a condition of the joints that can make them stiff and painful. This is common in the knee, hip, back, ankle, shoulder. Whether you have one or both of those conditions, this video is going to be for you. We have 10 minutes, you don't need anything, but you just need some space. And if we haven't met before, my name's Alyssa. I'm a doctor of physical therapy. I specialize in helping people with osteoarthritis, but on this channel, I have a series of three videos so far. This will make number four to help you with osteoporosis because strong bones and strong joints are so, so vital to help you live out your adventure. So let's get started. First, I just want you to come into a march. As you start to get warmed up, I want you to see if you can slowly bring the knees up just a tad higher. Stay here for about 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. Now the interesting thing about helping to build bone strength is we need a little bit of impact. Impact means we move a little quicker and we strike the ground at a little bit of that quicker pace. So as we're going to try this first, just stepping to the side, I'm going to stand on my left side and I'm just going to move my right foot out to the side. I want you to use your arms in the same position that I am. If you need support for any of these movements, you can grab a chair, you can use a wall, kitchen counter, and just modify your arm positioning. But what you're gonna do, so when my leg is in, my arms are up. When I'm stepping to the side, my arms come down as I step out, then they come back in. I want you to strike the ground with a flat foot. Now recognize if you are on hardwood floors or tile, or concrete, you may not have to step as hard. If you are on carpet, you likely can stomp a little harder. We just wanna get some impact through those joints. Now, if, they're, if your knee is sensitive, your hip is sensitive, just go to whatever feels comfortable to you. You don't have to slam the ground as hard as you can. We're just adding a little more impact than you normally would. Three, two, Last one, yes. Okay, same thing, other side. So now I'm just standing on my right side, arms are up, and you're stepping to the left and adding that little bit of a stomp. Remember, just think, just going a little bit harder than you typically do, because you don't want to overdo it, especially at first. So just be purposeful with your movement, hit the ground with your full foot, I just like to use the arms to give in a little bit more oomph. Three, two, last one. Okay, now we're gonna go into a jump. Now before you're like, oh my goodness, I cannot jump, I have arthritis. You can actually jump, but you have to be able to prepare your joints for it. Now, if you're joining us and you have osteoporosis, you may be able to jump right now. No matter where you're at, I'm gonna show you two variations. What we're going to try to do, so this is the harder one, is we're going to try to load our arms and jump. Straight up. Load our arms and jump. Notice I'm not you know, jumping up as high as I can. It's just bringing some power to add a little hop to your step. Now, if you cannot jump, are scared of doing it, hesitant, totally fine. I would encourage you if you've never jumped or it's been a long time to try this variation. You're gonna start the same way. You're gonna load your arms and you're gonna raise up onto your toes. 
you're gonna raise up onto your toes. And you can actually add a little bit more to this by then letting your heels drop. Come down, raise up on your toes, and then let your heels drop down. So if you can, try to add a little bit of a hop. If you are not comfortable trying that right now, just raise up onto your toes. We're gonna stay here for 10 more. So do 10 at your own pace. The key is just moving quickly, either trying to quickly get off the floor, I mean, that's what jumping is, or quickly raise up onto your toes. Three, two, and then one more. Excellent, okay. Now, I'm gonna go back to standing on my left leg. But instead of going sideways with our stomps, we're gonna actually go forwards and backwards. So let me show you. So you're gonna step forwards and backwards. And I want you just to use your arms with whatever feels comfortable to you. For me, it feels comfortable as I step down, my arms also straighten. Depending on your ankle mobility, it's gonna depend how far back you can step. Because remember, you wanna hit the ground with a full foot. But notice, as I go further back, to hit with a full foot, I need more bend in my ankle. If you don't have that, that's okay. Just make the step, at least backwards, a little bit shorter. Forwards and back. Forwards and back. 10 seconds. You don't have to use your arms, it's just something that I like to do. Three, two, and one. Now you're just gonna switch over to the other side. So now I'm gonna stand on my right and I'm gonna move my left forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards. Hit the ground with a full foot. Try to stomp a little harder than you typically would. Three, two, and one. We're gonna go right back into that march. Short, quick marches. Don't necessarily worry about stomping here. Short, quick marches. We're just trying to raise that heart rate. And then we're gonna end with one of my favorite um, moves for bone strength that you can pretty easily do throughout the day. Three, two, and one. Now you may need something to hold on to for this one. I'm gonna show you what the movement is. I just like to stand near a wall and just touch it for some stability. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna raise up on your toes, lifting your heels off the ground. Then you're just going to let your heels fall down. You're gonna raise up, let them fall down. See how I kind of bounce as I let them go down. That's what we're looking for. We're looking to put some impact through those heels versus slow and controlled lowering. So when you're brushing your teeth or when you're standing waiting for something to cook, you can do a few of these. Now just be mindful, the harder the surface, you may need to control it a little bit. I don't want you to slam down like on tile or something. So you can still very easily control how hard you're hitting. You can also try this in shoes first. If you are barefoot, a lot of these stomping movements are going to feel more intense just because we don't have that barrier in between you and the ground. So you don't have to like go down as hard as you can. Control it to what you feel okay with. Remember, we just need it to be a little higher than what you typically do. Three, two, and last one. So these simple moves can make a big difference if you have osteoporosis and even if you have osteoarthritis. 
You can check out the three other videos I have to help with both of these conditions because one of the things that can be really hard with osteoporosis is it requires a lot of higher impact, heavier weights in order to actually build bone strength. But when you have osteoarthritis, your joints can be um, sensitive to certain movements. You may feel pain trying to move quickly. And so this is trying to help bridge the gap that if you are dealing with joint pain, you can still add impact. It's just looking at how you do that. So go check out those other three videos and thanks for watching. If this was helpful, I highly recommend subscribing. Click that red button down below and leave a comment letting me know that you finished this workout. Thanks.